まず一つ目には。Konnichiwa. Welcome to Japan, the land of the rising sun. While most people know Japan for its sushi and anime culture, this country is home to some of the rarest things that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. From talking toilets that play music to square shaped watermelons, Japan promises an unforgettable adventure for tourists. Join us as we explore 15 things that can't be seen anywhere but in Japan. Number 15. Themed Trains. Japan's trains are well known for being fast and efficient. But did you know about the special theme trains? These trains are created with unique themes and fun extras, and are often linked to popular series. Take the Tureyu Tsubasa train, for example. It has a footbath and a window for a comfy and picturesque ride through Fukushima and Yamagata. The Genbi Shinkansen in Niigata is a great choice for people who love art. This high speed train is filled with art installations by famous artists inspired by the surrounding views. And if you're traveling with kids, themed trains have exciting features like playgrounds, cozy seating, and even designs inspired by Pokemon. These trains are made to keep passengers entertained and involved, making the trip as memorable as the destination. So, why go for a regular train ride when you can have a thrilling and unforgettable adventure? Number 14. Excessive Vending Machines. The number of vending machines in Japan is unbelievable, with over 4 million machines spread throughout the country. But these vending machines are different, and there's no limit to what they offer, like various sodas and canned coffee. Some of the more special machines stock things like small figures, umbrellas, and even soup. With more people thinking about taking care of the environment, technology, and new ideas, Japan's vending machines could be changed to offer organic and locally sourced fruits, vegetables, and other good snacks. As you get used to seeing vending machines everywhere, you might see some that have unexpected things like corn, sweet beans, clam soup, shrimp broth, or even Indian curry. In the winter, these machines also sell hot drinks. This wouldn't just help people eat better, but it would also help local farmers and reduce the harm to the environment from moving food around. Plus, These new vending machines could use materials that break down naturally, or containers you can use again, making less waste and encouraging a more earth friendly way of living. Imagine being able to grab a fresh salad or a tasty smoothie from a vending machine on the go without giving up on being healthy or thinking about the environment. Recently, there have been new vending machines that sell frozen ramen and dumplings, adding to the already large variety of choices available. Also, fruit vending machines are liked by people and offer healthy snack choices like bananas, packs of pineapple, and cut up apples. Number 13. Luxury Fruits. It's interesting to find out that some fruits can be super expensive in Japan. For instance, square watermelons grown in Sensoji City, Kagawa, can cost up to 15,000 yen, or about 140 US dollars. The Densuka watermelon, which is jet black, has been sold for a huge 650,000 yen or over 6,000 US dollars, while the Ruby Roman grapes, which are as small as a ping pong ball, can start at around 40,000 yen or 365 US dollars per bunch. One reason these fruits are so pricey is that Japanese farmers take a lot of pride in growing them. They treat each fruit like it's their kid, putting in all their efforts and care to make sure it's really good. The high prices for these fruits pay the farmers for their hard work and dedication. The time of year also affects the prices of fruits in Japan. Fruits like watermelons and other melons that are associated with summer can be expensive during that time. Similarly, winter fruits like strawberries and apples can also cost a lot because there aren't many around. In Japan, fruits are seen as fancy gifts. That people give to show appreciation to their loved ones and work friends. This tradition has made farmers grow expensive fruits to meet the demand for fancy gifts. Japanese farmers are creative and focused on growing top quality fruits. The square watermelons are a great example of how clever and creative they are. These melons with a unique shape not only look nice, but can also cost up to 10,000 Japanese yen. Would you spend that much on fruit? Do you think it's worth it?
Number 12. Kotatsu. If you want a comfy way to get through the cold Japanese winter, check out the Kotatsu. Unlike the fancy heating systems and warm walls you find in other places, the Kotatsu gives you warmth and coziness with an electric heated table and blanket set. This heartwarming Japanese thing becomes the focus of the home during chilly weather, bringing people and cats around it like a campfire. The modern Kotatsu is a short table with a special blanket on top, and there's an electric heater underneath to keep your lower body warm. Even though they weren't as popular for a while when underfloor heating became common, the Kotatsu is back because it's a good and cheap way to stay warm. The Kotatsu has a long history in Japan, starting as a Hori Kotatsu, a warm thing for your feet in a ditch. Over time, it changed into the Oki Kotatsu, a portable version with a heater under the table. If you're thinking of getting a Japanese Kotatsu table online, there are many designers and makers to choose from. Some of the best ones are those who make unique styles and designs and have been making Kotatsu tables for hundreds of years. Know where to get one outside of Japan? Tell us in the comments below. Number 11. Photoshop Photo Booth. It's cool how Japan has turned a simple idea into a tech wonder with Purakura. This super fun photo booth lets you change how you look with makeup, adjust your skin color, and make your eyes look bigger among other cool effects. You can also stick fun stickers, notes, and dates on your photos and print them out right away. Purikura machines are in arcades, theme parks, and even aquariums and are popular with teenage and young adult Japanese girls. The first one was made by Atlas in 1995 and the parent company has trademarked the name Print Club or Purikura. The Rakugaki corner is where you can doodle and use stamps of different shapes and colors making the Purakura experience even more fun. The display quality of the doodles and the machine inside the booth is excellent, and the machine even reacts to fingers and pens. While you can change how strong some effects are, like making your eyes look bigger or your skin lighter, you can't get rid of them. After you edit your photo, the machine will ask for your email and send you the digital version so you can easily share it on social media. It's no wonder Purakura is getting more popular all over the world. Number 10. Blue Traffic Light Did you know that traffic lights in Japan turn blue instead of the usual green? This is because the Japanese language has only a few color words. In the past, they only had words for black, white, red, and blue. So when talking about green, they used the word ao, which means blue. This trick worked fine until the word for green, midori, became common around the end of the first millennium. However, Midori was still thought of as a shade of oh. This language history has led to some confusion and still has an impact on Japanese culture today. For traffic lights, even though they were green, they were still called oh. This linguistic mismatch didn't match with the international standard, where green universally means go. To fix this, the Japanese government found a compromise in 1973. They decided to use the bluest shade of green possible, which followed the international rules, but still let them use the word AO. So Japan's blue traffic lights are a very blue shade of green. The government wants to make it clear that it's green enough to follow the rules, but blue enough to be called AO. Number nine, washlets. Japan has some of the fanciest toilets globally, popularly known as washlets. These super cool toilets have a bunch of amazing features that will amaze you. Picture a toilet that not only sprays water on your bottom, but also adjusts the water temperature to your liking, gives off nice smells, and even plays relaxing sounds to drown out background noise. These washlets are way ahead of any other toilets out there. Despite their fancy technology, they are surprisingly easy to use. Just press the buttons on either side of the toilet, and you're good to go. And if you can't reach the buttons on the toilet, no problem. There's a handy remote control pad on the wall. Japan's clever toilets have become so popular that in 2018, the Japan Sanitary Equipment Industry Association had to standardize button symbols to avoid confusion among tourists. Industry associations had to standardize button symbols to prevent confusion among tourists. Number 8. 
rice paddy art. Get ready to be amazed by one of the world's coolest and most awesome art forms, rice paddy art. Coming from Japan, this art form involves using different kinds and colors of rice to make stunning pictures in a paddy field. It's like painting with nature, and the results are breathtaking. The story of rice paddy art is interesting. In the early 1990s, the people of Inakadate, a small village in Aomori Prefecture, wanted to bring new life and energy to their community. They celebrated their farming history by using rice fields as a canvas to make art. They began with four different types of rice, both old and new kinds, to create a big picture in the field behind the town hall. They even built a tall tower for visitors to see the amazing artwork from above. Other villages, like Yonazawa in Yamagata Prefecture, saw this and started making their rice paddy art. It became a trend that continues to this day. Inakadate has made some amazing designs over the years. They've shown famous figures like the Mona Lisa, traditional Japanese paintings, scenes from famous movies, and even legendary creatures. The designs are planned out each year in April using computers to draw the designs and decide where each kind of rice should be planted. It's a true example of teamwork and creativity. While rice paddy art has brought happiness to thousands of visitors each year, it has had some problems. In 2008, there was a plan to include advertising logos in the art, which caused a problem. Some villagers and the previous mayor strongly opposed the idea, saying that the land wouldn't be leased if the ads were included. This led to removing the seedlings and scraping the advertising logos. Number 7. Capsule Hotels If you're searching for a special and cheap place to stay, capsule hotels, also called pod hotels, are a good choice. Starting in Japan, these hotels give you a small room experience where you sleep in a cozy pod instead of a regular hotel room. And now, you can find these hotels all over the world. So, what's a capsule hotel exactly? It's like a tiny modern cabin, about the size of a single bed, with everything you need for a quiet stay. Inside the pod, there's a TV for entertainment, air conditioning, a video game console, and plugs to charge your devices. The pods are stacked on top of each other, and you climb up using a ladder or steps. You can even close the pod with a curtain or a solid door if you want privacy. But remember, only the inside can be locked. Shared facilities like showers and toilets are available, along with free Wi-Fi. Some capsule hotels also offer free saunas, baths, pools, and entertainment, making them a great deal for the price. Capsule hotels come in different sizes, with some having floors or rooms just for women. When you arrive, you change your regular clothes and shoes to a yukata and slippers. You can keep your things safe in lockers or room safes. The cost for a night in a capsule hotel is usually between 2,000 yen and 4,000 yen, which is about 18 to 36 dollars, making it a wallet-friendly choice. Capsule hotels are liked by hard-working salarymen, people who miss the last train home, or those who need a break from their usual routine. Some people even rent capsules for longer periods of time during tough periods. Number 6. Girlfriend for Rent In Japan, there's a unique thing called girlfriend rentals, where you can enjoy having a companion without a long-term commitment. It's like borrowing a romantic connection for a short time, getting the feel of a relationship without the serious stuff. Here's how it works. You pay for the pleasure of spending time with a girl and cover the costs of drinks, meals, and transportation. The prices vary depending on what you like and how long you want to hang out, starting from 10,000 yen for a quick two-hour meetup to 15,000 yen for a longer three-hour hangout. Some women do this part-time while juggling their regular jobs, they're good at being friendly and making a connection with you. Now, why do people choose to rent a girlfriend? Some do it because they feel lonely and want the warmth and closeness that a partner brings. Others, like Hikikomori, prefer this way of connecting instead of dealing with the challenges of traditional dating. Surprisingly, even married men sometimes use this service to find companionship outside their marriages. Renting a girlfriend in Japan is a way to experience connection, companionship, and a bit of romance without the commitment of a long-term relationship. So if you're curious, you might want to try it and experience the excitement for yourself.
Number 5. Bullet Train Cleaning Crew In Tokyo Station, more than 300 bullet trains, known as Shinkansens, arrive and leave every day about four minutes apart. Tessai, a part of Japan Railway, cleans these high-speed trains quickly, earning them the nickname the 7-Minute Miracle from CNN. Tessai tasks include picking up trash, cleaning tables, adjusting seats, and more. Split into 11 teams of 22 people each, Tessi efficiently cleans around 20 trains every day within a short 7-minute time frame when the trains stop at Tokyo Station. Traditionally, cleaning jobs in Japan were seen as hard, dirty, and unsafe, labeled as 3K jobs. However, Tessi's culture changed under CEO Teruo Yabe's leadership nine years ago. Yabe redefined the role of Tese employees as service specialists, focusing on providing excellent service and creating a memorable experience for passengers. The main value became omotenashi, Japanese for hospitality, embedded in manuals, training, and the mindset of every employee. Tese's teams have 22 members, each taking care of one train carriage with about 100 seats. The seven-minute limit pushes the team to make the whole carriage perfectly clean. They continuously improve their operation to meet this goal. The cleaning process begins by thanking passengers as they get off. The timeline involves picking up trash, moving seats, wiping surfaces, changing seat covers, and doing a final quality check. Number 4. Almost No Trash Cans Visiting Japan for the first time, you will find it very interesting to know why Tokyo's streets are so clean and why there are hardly any public garbage cans. The reason behind this is a safety measure taken after the 1995 subway sarin incident, where the AUM Shinrikyo cult released harmful sarin gas in subway stations. To prevent potential attacks with dangerous substances, public trash cans were removed. Also, waste collection in Japan is a free public service managed by individual areas, and putting trash cans in big city centers like Tokyo would require more work, making an existing shortage of workers worse. While you won't see many public garbage bins, you can find them in public parks, train stations, and public restrooms. Recycling bins are also near vending machines, and you can find trash cans in convenience stores, but those are for customers. To deal with the limited number of public bins, visitors are encouraged to follow local practices like bringing an empty plastic bag to hold garbage until it can be properly thrown away, eating food where they bought it, and using designated bins near vending machines or food stalls. Japan is super clean, but it's smart to be prepared because public bins are rare. Number 3. Two Valentine Days Valentine's Day has a special twist in Japan compared to many other places. Usually, women give chocolates to the men in their lives, like boyfriends or co-workers. The kind of chocolate varies, Special men get true-feeling chocolates, co-workers get obligatory chocolates, and friends get friend chocolate. This tradition has its roots in a translation mistake and the influence of Western holidays. Valentine's Day in Japan started as an effort to encourage spending, led by Morozov Limited in 1936. The change from men giving chocolates to women to the opposite is believed to have come from this translation error. A month later, on March 14th, Japan celebrates White Day, seen as the Reply Day for women. Men are expected to give gifts three times as valuable as what they got on Valentine's Day. White chocolates are common, but other gifts like dark chocolates, flowers, and even white lingerie are popular. Valentine's Day at work can be stressful for many due to the tradition of giving obligatory chocolates. This practice, called Giri Choco, is linked to a subtle meaning of give and take, or a debt of gratitude. Some companies have even banned Valentine's Day because of its impact on workplace dynamics. Despite the workplace pressures, couples in Japan still find ways to celebrate Valentine's Day romantically. While a night out might be more associated with Christmas Eve, restaurants and flower shops have recently promoted Valentine's Day as a Western-style couple's holiday. Number 2. Variety of Kit Kat Enjoy the satisfying crunch of a Kit Kat bar. Well, get ready for a delightful surprise when you check out the many unique flavors found only in Japan. While the classic milk chocolate Kit Kat is a global favorite, 
Japan takes Kit Kat enjoyment to a new level with various creative and sometimes wacky flavors. The journey begins with the history of Kit Kats in Japan. Originally made in the United Kingdom, Kit Kats, known as Kitokatsu in Japan, became a worldwide sensation made by Nestle. In 1973, Kit Kat showed up in the Japanese market and quickly became the country's most sold chocolate. In 2004, introducing green tea-flavored Kit Kat started a flavor revolution. Since then, Kit Kat has made over 300 limited edition flavors inspired by seasons and specific regions across Japan. The Kit Kat Chocolatory, started in 2014 by chef Yasumasa Takagi, further boosted the brand with fancy shops offering designer flavors like strawberry cheesecake, orange chocolate rum, and more. Some notable Japanese Kit Kat flavors include Azuki or Red Bean, Benny Emo or Purple Sweet Potato, Matcha or Green Tea, Hojicha or Roasted Green Tea, Cherry Blossom, Caramel Macchiato McFlurry, Ramune Soda, Sake, and Yokohama Cheesecake, among others. The abundance of Kit Kat flavors in Japan is because of the concept of omiyage, which means a souvenir or memento. Nestle believes introducing regional and seasonal flavors creates a sense of scarcity, driving consumer demand. This approach also lets the company control production costs and match the rotation of items in Japanese convenience stores. With more than 300 different flavors, including limited editions and regional specialities, the Japanese Kit Kat offers something for everyone to enjoy. Whether you like traditional flavors or want to try soy sauce or sake, the world of Japanese Kit Kats is as varied and exciting as it is delicious. Number 1. Randoseru A randoseru is a strong backpack used by young kids in Japan for school. Usually made of tough leather or fake materials, children get it at the beginning of their first year and use it until grade 6. The word comes from Dutch and German, meaning backpack. In Western schools, backpacks like Schulranzen and Bekentas are simpler and lighter. These backpacks are required to be a certain color, brand, and design in more traditional schools, with red for girls and black for boys. But in more modern schools, there are different colors to keep the tradition without needing traditional uniforms. A regular randoseru is about 30 centimeters high, 23 centimeters wide, and 18 centimeters deep, weighing around 1.2 kilograms when empty. They give out yellow plastic covers to make the backpacks more visible and safer during trips. The history of randoseru goes back to the Edo era, with its current shape looking like the rucksack used by foot soldiers in the Dutch military. It became popular in Japanese elementary schools in 1885 and took its current form in 1887. The metal clip on the side that we recognize was added after World War II for practical reasons, not for carrying grenades. Making randoseru is mostly done by hand, with about 200 fittings and careful assembly processes. The durability of randoseru means it can last a child's entire time in elementary school, and with proper care, it can stay in great condition even into adulthood. A new randoseru can cost different amounts, with real or fake leather options priced between 30,000 and 40,000 yen in chain stores. Department stores or traditional workshops might have fancier models, going for 55,000, 70,000 yen or more. Clarino, a fake material, is a more affordable choice. You can also find randoseru on auction sites at lower prices, especially after the Japanese school year starts in April. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos.